Yo, what's going on guys? It's Stats here back with another video. Today we're going to hit on something a little special and that is a good old conquest. I'm going to show you guys the most efficient way to get through these and the fastest way to get through these as well and to try to get as much XP as possible. Now, as you can see here, I am playing the big conquest map here and it only this was only one day's worth of conquest. Now this map is going to take a very long time and this is probably going to be the biggest map that you guys are going to see all year long. The only reason why this one sucks is because you have to play every single team and you got to beat everybody. It's it's just it's a grind man. It sucks but it's rewarding and the more conquest maps that come out during the year uh, the more rewards you guys will get. Conquest is boring but yeah, you guys got to remember it's very rewarding at the same time. So conquest is like the game risk. Um, there's really, there's really no strategy when it comes to this. It's very simple. The AI that you go up against is not super smart or anything like that. They're not going to come right to you and try to take your territory. So it's, it's pretty easy, but usually when we start out, I like to make a little circle around our base territory, just like this. And then after that, it's just pretty much free to go go wherever you want try to cover as many spots as you can I like to uh, try to capture all these blank spots first and then uh, we'll start attacking but the next phase here is steel fans I don't recommend stealing fans at all we're not even gonna touch on that the only time I would ever steal fans is if we look in our goals here and it is under our goals and we have to do that so uh, this one, that is not in there, so we're not going to steal fans. We're going to go ahead and skip to reinforce. Once you're at reinforce, we're going to reinforce the spot that we want to move. So what I mean by that is I want to start here at this lower part, and then I'm going to put all of my fans at this spot. The next phase is move fans. If you have a spot somewhere else that has some fans, you can move it to this one as well. So say... You know, you've got 5 million fans right here. You can click on this and then move it down to this four. And then the most important one is the attack phase. So you'll click on the one that you wanted to start at and you'll start filling in the gaps again. And then it's a rinse and repeat process. So we'll continue to fill up the spot that we want to move, go to attack and just keep it moving. But as you can see there, the CPU is not moving like crazy. They're not in any rush to attack you. So there's no stress there. We have more spots occupied than pretty much everyone here. So this is pretty much what it's like against the CPU. And they, they really have no strategy. It's very easy. The hardest part with Conquest is that can, it can be pretty time consuming, but we got to do it because we get XP towards our uh, programs and we also get the rewards that are inside of these conquest maps now when it comes to setting your lineup for conquest i don't recommend going with your god squad i'll show you what i mean we'll go into programs here and if you look here at week one legend and flashback missions look at all these players so all these players that you see here are players that you can earn through these flashbacks and legends packs so I have all of them unlocked you guys will unlock them as you go but you want to use these guys in your lineup the reason I say to use these guys is because if you get them to your first parallel or you get them to parallel XP up to 350 like this Rob Dibble I got his done and I got 500 XP towards the program and you can gain this XP by playing ranked seasons, battle royale, events, play versus CPU, mini seasons, and conquest. So basically anything that is in the game, you can earn XP or uh, parallel XP to get the XP rewards for these players. So here's what my lineup looks like for the conquest. So as you can see here, I've got my lineup set up for those uh, parallel XP missions. And as you play conquest, you can use this lineup and you'll progress towards those rewards. Also, you wanna make sure you got your pitchers in there as well, and we are all packed up and ready to go. I don't have to use a reliever for this because the Goose Gossage and the Rob Dibble is done as well. 
and the Mariano Rivera. Let me see if there's any more. Yeah, there's no more in there. So all the relievers are done. So really, I just need to grind this Valenzuela, Smoltz, Kazmir, and Cliff Lee. I got this Randy Johnson one done earlier today. So back to the big map here. As you guys can tell, I pretty much occupy pretty much most of this map. And you can see right here, this is my go-to spot. This is, this is the spot that I'm basically taking everything out. And this is how I do it. You just keep going, keep going to the next spot. Nobody's going to beat you. No other spot has that many fans. The CPU does not do what we do. So we could just keep on going and keep on going to these territories and taking the main boss stronghold. So we're going to get up to this Kansas City Royals one. Okay, so we're right next to the Kansas City Royals stronghold here. Now, all of these, if you click on it, you have to play these games. You cannot simulate them. So you want to make sure that you have enough fans here to play on veteran difficulty. You can play on All-Star if you want, but you are running the risk of having to play another game. I always play veteran because it's easier for me. I do not play rookie because the pitch speeds are completely different. I have a hard time hitting on rookie. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just because I'm used to playing on All-Star and Hall of Fame and rookie just throws me off. It's like slow pitch softball. So I'm gonna play on veteran. We'll hop into a game. I'll show you guys how to get through the games quick. So before we actually jump in the game here, you want to make sure that you actually pitch or pick the pitcher that you're looking to progress in the uh, programs for the parallel system. So mine is Scott Casimir. You can also go with one of the relievers that you want to use. But we're going to go with Scott Casimir. And notice that we are facing not their ace. We're facing a 69 overall bronze. If you pick your top pitcher, you pick your ace, you're going to be facing their ace as well. So keep that in mind. So the goal here is to get about two to three runs, something like that. And then once you get that, oh dear God, once you get that, that's when you want to start bunting out and just getting out on purpose. So let's see if we can do that here. All right, nice. Ken Griffey with a double. And Trey Mancini. <laughs> uh, yeah, the CPU's defense is elite. I will tell you guys that. All right, so now we're pitching. Here's what I do to make pitching go by quick as possible. If you have a pitcher that has a long windup, pretty much any starting pitcher that has a windup, you want to intentionally walk that first batter. I know it's crazy, but... It's so much faster when your pitcher is pitching out of the stretch and you can just keep it going with the pitches. As far as pitch pattern goes, this is what I do. I like to alternate pitches, go fast first, keep it high and inside, and then rotate that with something off speed. He's stealing on me and he actually stole on me. Okay, so we just threw a slider. We're gonna go right back to the fastball, high and in. And just keep rotating that. For whatever reason, the CPU has a hard time doing that. Uh, when you go to the off-speed pitches, I recommend switching that up as well. So go slider, change up, whatever it may be, and just keep alternating. You'll get a lot of strikeouts that way. And for whatever reason, the CPU has a hard time hitting that. So we'll just keep alternating here. And we get them with another strikeout. So at this point, I like to warm up some guys that I'm going to use for the grind. So that's Rob Dibble and Mariano Rivera. That way we can be ready for the second inning. He is stealing a third. Oh my gosh. Okay. CPU is getting a little ballsy now. All right, we're going to see if we can get some runs here. Oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me right now. Oh man, CPU defense, they're good, man. But you guys get the idea. Uh, if you get two or three runs, bunt out and make sure the innings go by quick for you. Now, once you get up to your pitcher as a batter, it's up to you. Um, you know where his stamina is at. If you wanna try to get a little bit more extra XP, you can. Uh, but remember, once your pitcher starts getting tired, I don't know what it is this year, but the CPU tease off on tired pitchers and you will get shelled so you want to be careful um me i'm going to switch out one of my hitters to pinch hit 
and this is Billy Williams so he is in that XP par parallel missions um, I'm gonna have to put him in and we can always continue Scott Casimir on the next game and we'll put in Rivera as a reliever and there we go Billy Williams hits one into the gap and that should score two uh, he's gonna get thrown out oh, nope he was safe okay so we've got two runs now I just want to bunt out the rest of the game I don't want to take up any more time so we'll bunt there good thing we have two outs sometimes you will have to run the second Jimmy Rollins he's got 94 speed so yeah he was gonna beat that out so we're good there and now we can head to the third inning actually my bad this is the bottom of the second we're gonna put Rivera in now and we're good to go all right so back to the pattern fastball in off speed pitch perfect cutter in look at that it's it's something about that pattern that throws off the computer there we go two down and guys notice that my reliever here he's pitching out of the stretch so i do not have to do that uh intentional walk thing so you want to make sure you're using pitchers that are pitching out of the stretch and if they do not make sure you're intentionally walking that first batter all right so i've got a two-run league i just want to get through this as fast as possible so i'm going to bunt out All right, so we're done. We're going to finish out this game. Now, this is a decision for you. Look at our energy bar. We are starting to turn yellow. Said this earlier, the CPU does capitalize on tired pitchers. So you want to keep an eye on that. I'm going to keep Mariano in, but if you guys want to be safe, you can go ahead and put in a different pitcher. But I do recommend if you are going to keep the same pitcher in, I do recommend at least having one that's uh, warmed up. Okay, uh, I don't know what happened there, but uh, <laughs> one down. All right, so he is starting to get in the red. I'm going to take him out. I have to play it safe. And Rob Dibble does pitch out of the windup, so we're going to pinch or, uh, intentionally walk this batter. So we can get this done quick. And then... We'll go back to our pattern. Okay, strike him out. That's two down. And that should be game. There we go. Nice. All right, so there it was. We, we got this done pretty fast. Uh, when you're pitching, make sure you're throwing strikes. Don't mess around. And uh, just follow that pattern. Fastball, off-speed, fastball, off-speed. And when you're throwing the fastball, make sure it's high and in. TPU has a hard time doing that. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That's pretty much the most efficient and fastest way uh, that I can think of. Hopefully this helps you guys out and um, you guys use this method throughout the whole year. They're going to be releasing maps throughout the whole year that's going to give you guys a lot of rewards. Another big thing that I recommend doing right before you get into these maps is hitting Y or triangle and looking at your goals list here and make sure really the only thing you're going to be looking for here is a steel fans requirement or you know something that says like here let me try to find it so here's one of them right here it says after the attack phase steal 1 million fans from Seattle by winning a three inning game so we would have to steal 1 million fans from Seattle in order to pass that one and then sometimes I can't find it there is a goal that will say uh, capture this team within a certain amount of turns that's typically pretty easy if that one's there that usually means the team is right there next to you and to start that steel fans phase you'll just hit a when you're on your steel fans phase and then here's the option here you'll pick the team you want to play and then rookie is 1 million fans, veteran is 2 million, all stars 3, Hall of Fame's 4, and legend is 5. You'll never, ever, ever play on Hall of Fame, all star, or legend in Conquest unless you really want to, but there's really no reason to. I always recommend doing rookie and veteran. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. 
I hope this method works for you guys and I hope you guys are having fun playing this game. I'm definitely having a hell of a time. If you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I appreciate all you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.